Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to do some Merch by Amazon keyword research and basically find out what keywords were being searched for on Amazon in the past on a specific day. So if that day is coming up again in the future, you can do designs using those popular keywords from last year in your shirts for this year and you'll know that you're probably more likely to make a sale on that day this year. So let me just show you an example. It's hard to explain, but you can basically use this tool here, Merch Inform, it's a new tool I've been using for the last few days, which is all about doing research for Amazon Merch. There's a link to Merch Inform in the description box for this video. But basically, we can go back in time, you know, we're on today's date, March 5th, 2018. I can go back to, um, let's say the 1st of January, 2018. And I can press search. She's gonna go away to Amazon and come back and show us the keywords that were most popular on January 1st, 2018 on Amazon Merch. So it's gonna show us all the one word phrases that were popular on that day, all the two word phrases, and the three word phrases from most popular at the top to least popular at the bottom. So funny was a really popular keyword on March, on January 1st, 2018. Eat sleep, which is probably the first part of an eat sleep something repeat, eat sleep rave repeat, eat sleep trade repeat, you know, there's huge variations on these type of shirts, but eat sleep was a really popular keyword phrase used on January 1st, 2018. Always be yourself was a three word keyword that was really popular on January 1st. American flag was a, was a pretty high popular two word phrase. Christmas birthday. So this tool is really useful to finding the most popular keywords used on a specific day and time and giving you inspiration of the keywords you can use in the titles and the descriptions of your shirts that you're gonna put on that day this year around. So the next, the following year, you can use similar keywords to increase you know, the likelihood of being found because these are what people are searching for in Amazon and increase, therefore, your chances of making a sale. And just for another example, you know, we're gonna go back a few, a bit further back. So let's go back to November 1st, get some more data. It takes approximately 10 seconds. And we can see, you know, funny is a consistently popular search term on Amazon Merch. But if we go to two words, we can see Halloween costume was super popular for two word keyword phrases. We're on November 1st now, so it's very close to Halloween. So people are searching for Halloween related shirts. Um, we go to three words, born in November, or born in. So shirts that appeal to people who were born in November, they're gonna sell well on November 1st. So you can really use Merch Informer to find seasonal keywords that are popular on specific days. You know, if you're planning for to do shirts for the summer or to do shirts for Easter or Independence Day, Christmas, you can use this tool to find the keywords that were most popular for those days and those seasons last year and use them on your merch listings this year. So this is something I'm really excited about. I only found out about it yesterday, actually. It's Merch Informer. Um, I'm gonna be using it moving forward. You can get a link to the website in the description box below. You'll get a free a three day trial and then it starts at $10 a month after that. But if you sell at least two shirts a month, you know, you've made your money back and using these research tools, you know, you're more than likely to sell more than two shirts, I'd imagine, a month. So yeah, it's something I'm really excited about. You can find Merch Informer using the link in the description box below. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos on Amazon Merch, my experiences with Amazon Merch, uh, other things like making money online, like e-commerce, affiliate marketing. There's videos every Monday and Thursday. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave some comments in the comments box below if you have your own keyword research methods that you enjoy and you think are good or alternatives to Merchant Former, let us know below and we'll be happy to hear that. So everyone, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Good luck with Merch. Bye.